Hey everyone, just got back from work and uh, checked the mailbox and guess what I got? More stuff, so let's go open them up. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another Layman Video Gamer episode. Uh, today we have another package, so let's just open it up. I think it's for a 32X. It is. Oh. Big, big, big day. I am so thrilled to have this. This is Blackthorn for 32X. Now this is not a cheap game. It's actually quite expensive. It can range you depending on the quality of the box and if it's complete and all the inserts are in there and, and it looks fantastic, then you're gonna pay a lot of money for this. Uh, I'll tell you here in a little bit what I paid for it, but let's take a look at the box and see what kind of shape it's in. Off the bat, this the cover looks brand new. This looks really nice. There is some creasing on the top and uh, on the bottom, so it really it just looks like this is brand new, but it just got squished in a, in a pile somewhere. So at any rate, so other than the creasing on the sides, on the top and bottom, it looks really good. And uh, so here is the cartridge itself. So this originally came out on the Super Nintendo and I believe on the PC back in 1994. And uh, it, got, it came with a really good reception. It's uh, just a really cool game. So they decided to go ahead and release it on the Sega 32X in 1995 with uh, modified graphics, it had a higher color palette, and uh, it even added four new levels. And the soundtrack's gonna sound a lot more like the Super Nintendo version as opposed to the DOS version. Of course, that's MIDI. So anyway, the cartridge is really good. Very happy. This is a complete in box, uh, minus the Visions insert, which I wish I had that, but you know. So here's the manual, looks really good, black and white, typical 32X, uh, but it's in good shape. There's no rips or tears, uh, doesn't look like it was used, if at all. And uh, that's great. It's really, really, really good. So I'm very happy about this, I'm excited. The only thing left to do, you know what it is, go pop it in. Let's go play this bad boy. Okay, so here we go. This is Blackthorn, Sega 32X version. I am really excited to play this, not just because it's an awesome game, which I hope it is, uh, it's because this cost me so much money, which I forgot to tell you guys uh, at the setup. So this thing cost me $140. Now again, that's complete in box. It's not just the cartridge and, and everything is in pretty good shape. So $140, while it sounds like a lot, for this game, eh, it's... You're gonna find that this is around the price you're gonna pay for, for the, the quality that I got anyways. Um, you're also gonna find that it, it, people will be charging way, way more than this. Uh, I've actually seen it for $200, $300. So uh, if, you, if you really want this game, I'd say if you find it under 150, you might wanna think about it. So at any rate, so you, you can see here that there's this big epic storyline that they show you at the beginning and basically your planet's going to be run over or your castle's going to be run over by your adversary now that you live on this planet called tool i think that's how you pronounce it long story short your dad gives you this thing called the lightstone uh, for safekeeping so that your adversaries or the, the people that want to kill you don't get it so he gives it to you as a child sends you to earth and then when you're big enough and strong enough to uh to return well, you're going to come back and hopefully free everybody. Because what you find is that everybody's been in, uh, in prison, put into slavery. As you'll notice right here. 
Now you'll also notice that it looks a lot like Flashback. In fact, this has been reviewed, at least the Super Nintendo version of this, was reviewed as Flashback with an attitude, and I suppose so. You basically look like a hard rocker with a shotgun going around killing these big lizard things. But I will say this, you can you can clearly see that the, the color palette is actually, a, it's really bright. And I love how the, the water looks in this. It's just like a little sparkly picture. You know those little pictures you used to put on your wall back in the early 2000s? Maybe late 1990s, where it looked like the waterfall was falling, you know, had the lights behind it, or it just kind of glittered. Anyway, it looks a lot like that. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, you're missing out. Okay, I'm lying, you're not missing out. Uh, it's not very fast moving. I'm not going to say it's difficult, but it's a lot of patience, as you can see right here. I'm, you just have to wait for this guy to to come out into the out of the shadow so I can shoot him. So you collect these bombs. Uh, most of these lizard guys have these bombs, so you have to collect those because if you don't, you're not going to be able to get through the door. Now this brings me to another. Uh, point. You can play this with the three button controller for the Sega Genesis. However, it is much easier to do this with the six button because with the six button, throwing a bomb is just a, it's just one click. You just hit another button. If you're using the three button, you have to like hold down the C button and, and while you're, while you're pushing down on your directional pad or you know, it's really gets kind of, I'm not gonna say complicated, but it's just, you know, just use the six button. So this was received pretty well when it first came out anyway, but there's not a lot to this. So in addition to being released on the Sega 32X, it was, as I said, it was released on the Super Nintendo as well. It was also released on MS-DOS, uh, the classic Mac operating system. It was also released on Windows and uh, Game Boy Advance. <laughs> But what this game does have going for it is that I, I'm actually kind of sucked in. I'm, I'm wondering what the heck is going to come up next. Other than that, it's basically this the entire time. So this wonderful game was brought to you by Blizzard. Yes, that Blizzard. Blizzard is known, obviously, for big, 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 big games like Diablo, Warcraft. Overwatch, StarCraft, The Lost Vikings. I mean, they really have some big ones. And there you go. There's your game. So there you have it, Blackthorn. It is an expensive game on the 32X. It's, is it great? No, it's not great. Uh, but for the time, the graphics were, were, were pretty good. The color palette obviously is very good because it's on the 32X. And the music and the sound is not too bad considering the time it came out. So uh, it is expensive, but if you're collecting for 32X, this is a must have. But this is what $140 looks like right here, right here. And I think with a little patience and a lot of time put into this game, I could probably, probably like it, but it's definitely not a fast paced game. And it is just for one player. So that's it. Thanks for joining me for another episode of The Lame Video Gamer. I'm going to go continue playing this game, and we'll see you next time.